If you have been paying attention to my devotions for the last several weeks, you know that I have been reading some excerpts from various books about spiritual disciplines, about prayer, about the love of God, about all different things. And so today I continue with that from a clip from someone called by the name of Frank Limbach. Frank was uh, born in 1884 and he lived through 1970. And he had a book called Opening Windows to God. And it was really a series of journal entries uh, listen to what the introduction says. In 1915, Frank went with his wife to the Philippine Islands and as a missionary, and he founded several churches in the island of Mindanao. I probably am not pronouncing that uh, the right way. It's M-I-N-D-A-N-A-O, Mindanao. And he, he established in, and uh, established a college there, went on to become the dean there in, sorry, in Man Manila. So after he established all the churches on the island, then he went to Manila and established a college and became a dean. And then in 1930, he returned back to the island of Mindanao. And he worked with people who regarded Christian Filipinos as enemies talking about a mission field, right? And he went, even though he knew it was going to be difficult, he went with a heart filled with the presence of God and lived among the people. He didn't judge them. He lived with them and then tried to figure out how to reach them, not coercing them, not beating them over the head with Christianity, but living every moment as a testimony, living with God in his heart and showing the love of God to others. So this is one of his uh, diary entries from January 3rd, 1930. To be able to look backward and say, this, this has been the finest year of my life. That is glorious. But anticipation. Oh, to be able to look ahead and say the present year can and shall be better. That is even more glorious. I have done nothing but open windows. God has done the rest. There has been a succession of marvelous experiences of the friendship of God. I resolved that I would succeed better this year with my experiment of filling every minute full of the thought of God that I succeed last year, that I did more this year than last year. Let me reread re that sentence again. I resolved that I would succeed better this year with my experiment of filling every minute full of the thought of God than I succeeded last year. And I added another resolve to be wide open toward people and their need as I am toward God. Windows open outward as well as upward. Windows open especially downward where people need the most. Can you imagine being Frank or his wife or anybody in a mission field where people uh, think of the Christians around them as enemies and then going into that mission field with the thought of just being full of God every day and being that window of opportunity that they need to hear from God, to be the one that plants the seed and letting God do the rest, to come home at the end of the day and be able to say, wow, this was a better day than it was yesterday, or to go home after a year of being in the mission field and say, last year, last year was amazing, but this year was even better. And what to come of the next year to live every moment with the fullness of God within brings the unlimited possibilities. So this week, let us think of ourselves as windows of opportunity where God uses us and opens the windows of the souls of those around us. Let us reflect the love of God let God do the rest and be that living testimony. Remember windows open out, 
open in, open up, but open down to those that need them the most. We all need a breath of fresh air. We all need the breath of fresh air that God brings. God bless. Have an amazing week.